Welcome to Sounds Heavenly. Hopefully you saw our recent video reviewing Bang & Olufsen's BLAB 90, BLAB 50 and BLAB 5 speakers. Whilst I was here, I had to see the other thing that uh, they have on offer in the showroom. And that is not just one, but two approaches to the question of what is the ultimate home cinema system. Come with me, let's see what we've got. So here's the question, £100,000. The average pension pot, perfectly achievable for someone of means, and it's enough to give you the ultimate home cinema. The big question is, how would you do it? Talking to the guys at Bang & Olufsen at Wilmslow today, I'd suggest there are two very different approaches to this same goal. And I, you'll probably tell, I'm actually quite excited about this. I've just had I, uh, m my mind opened on this. So I'm going to look at two different solutions to the same problem today. And I'd, like, I'd be really interested to know what you guys think. And please, by all means, add your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to look at two very different ways of giving that 100k home cinema that will be without equal. What would you choose? We're going to start with option one. Bang and Olufsen all the way. This is just incredible. We've got a 65 inch Beovision Eclipse full 4k uh, TV, Ultra HD with its own soundbar built in, but for front speakers, we've got the peerless Bang & Olufsen BLAB 90 speakers. Please check out the other video that we've done reviewing those, and you really do need to hear these speakers in the flesh. As rear speakers, we've also got the Bang & Olufsen BLAB 50s, again, superb musical speakers. Combine this whole setup together, and you have an incredible sound. This will deliver surround sound movies with a depth and precision that make the hairs on the back of your neck tingle. The, to be honest, if you like the sound of your movies, you have got to hear this. And the picture on this, the, the Eclipse TV is crystal clear, it's beautiful. This is something that I would suggest if you have your movies out in an open plan area, a family room, um, a, a, an open lounge where it's part of your everyday experience in life, then yeah, this, this is a brilliant way to have a style statement that is unmatchable. And uh, as a B&O fan, this is a particular favorite of mine. But there's something else I've just experienced that I've just got to show you. So um, please uh, follow me through. We have um, a door in the corner and uh, we're about to go through to, to Narnia and uh, experience the other side of home cinema. So here we are. We've seen what you can do with £100,000 with Bang & Olufsen, the ultimate home cinema. But then, you have this. Now here we have a very, very different solution to the same problem. £100,000, no holds barred, the ultimate home cinema. So what have we got here? Um, we've got a bespoke uh, custom built room. Um, I can't believe it, again we're in a Bang & Olufsen showroom. Uh, this feels like we've stepped through a door into Narnia. It's another world in here and we've, we've got no speakers on view. Everything is hidden into the wall panels. There's a 4K projector, an anamorphic lens, so for less technical people what that does, all sorts of different shapes of movie screen are used for different films from the 16 by 9 um, slightly off square picture that's used for normal home TVs for HD going up to 2.4 to 1 which is 
also known as cinemascope, the super wide cinema screens that, that we see in, in the, at the pictures. Um, this accommodates them all and adjusts between them. It's mind blowing. The, the beautiful soft leather sofas in two rows with uh, um, a raised tier for the rear set. We've got technically a 7.2.4 surround sound system driven by an AV receiver. So in real terms, what that is, is seven different speakers around the room, three hidden inside the screen. So a centre speaker, front, left and right. We've then got side surround speakers and rear surround speakers for, the, for those cars that drive by behind you, for the the crowd when you, um, roaring when you're at a, um, a recorded music concert. We've got the point two, it's two separate hidden subwoofers in the walls. The, then the point four at the end of that 7.2.4 is four ceiling speakers, so two at the front, two at the rear. They work for the new Dolby Atmos surround sound formats. These have to be heard to be experienced. Now when a helicopter flies overhead in an action movie, it physically goes overhead. With those two subwoofers, the, the thunder of that helicopter, it, you feel it as much as hear it. The, the screen here, I'll check the specs with the guys, but the, I think this is looking at about 130 inches, corner to corner. This is an incredible experience. The chairs are all um, electrically adjustable. The whole experience is controlled by an RTI remote control, which works lighting and the, the sound. It, it controls Apple TV. Um, with, there's an Xbox connected. This is just incredible. There's a Kaleidoscape um, movie archive, which you can use for um, basically loading all your movie content. The, um, we'll, we'll show in a moment that there are hidden um, LED ceiling lights, there are alcoves with LED lighting, there's um, lighting on the floor um, as well to guide you up the steps on the riser. Everything all controllable from this remote which has a display mirroring the um, information on the screen. So you, at any point when you move the remote it comes to life and uh, even in a darkened room you can see exactly what you need to control. We've just been playing Mad Max Fury Road. Absolutely incredible. Uh, the, this far surpasses the commercial cinemas that, uh, that I've been to. The experience is completely immersive. This is uh, something that you can go up to volumes way beyond what you would ever normally need and the sound is crystal clear. The screen fills your vision and the, the difference between the brights and the, the darks um, sections of the, the film is, is quite jaw-dropping. The subwoofers go as deep as you could ever need. So for I think ultimately for the people who've got um, a separate space that can be dedicated to movies or for the ones who want to close the door on the world step into Narnia and be lost in their favorite films there's no alternative I've just got a new wish list and this is at the top of it 100,000 pounds two approaches very very difficult choice please let me know in the comments what you think what would you choose would you dedicate a room to a cinema I think were I to do that and to put this cinema in it then I would rarely come out but then I can also see the uh, the benefits of having a Bang & Olufsen ultimate system that's part of my everyday life out in the main home so please let me know what you think. What would you choose?